Right, welcome back guys. Uh, this tech tip, we're gonna jump back to our hardware instruments, our keyboards and stuff. Um, because I wanted to kind of just highlight the fact that um, the way that Bitwig has these uh, devices implemented, they're devices like anything else, uh, which means that you can do the same kind of things that you do with other devices, such as group them together, layer them up and all sorts of things. Um, so here's just some some cool ways that you can use that. Uh, we're going to set this up quickly and just bring in, I'll do it from scratch again, our hardware instrument here. I'm going to assign the, uh, let's go MIDI out from our connect again. We're going to go into the Moog Messenger. We're going to bring that back. That's the Moog Messenger. Now, um, let's say for instance, I want to kind of layer this on top uh, of something else. Um, we're going to bring in our multi-poly as well. So we'll just set up an additional hardware instrument here. And uh, once again, this time we can go in with multi-poly and let's bring back the multi-poly in. Yeah. So this is, okay. So I've got two synths basically now feeding off the same MIDI signal that we have coming in. Let's just take a look down here quickly. All right. So we've got the Moog. I'm just going to quickly dial into like a bass patch for us. That'll do. Um, now let's just take, take a look at the multi-poly. Right, so I'm just loading up a preset there uh, that I've made. Um, let's jump back into Bitwig. Right, so we, we can play both of those now at the same time. It does present a little bit of a problem for us though, because we are now combining a polyphonic instrument, the multi-poly, and the uh, Moog, which is a multi, uh, which is a mono synth. Um, an interesting thing that you can do here is go to the Moog, and we might just, uh, call this messenger, just so we know what we've got here, and multi-poly uh, we can just go in and um, add in a note grid just before our Moog uh, I don't know if there's another module that will actually do this for you the note filter doesn't have this um, functionality but it's, this is super simple we're not going to get into the grid here we're just going to set this to mono and we need to add in an additional pitch because this one has some different functionality over the regular pitch and we're just going to override this one bring that in and what you can do when you click on this now is and and also just make like i said make sure this mono um come over to this one the default pitch is the current one that you're playing we can have this lock to the lowest note of any chord so if you play one note it'll just do that if you play a chord with the arpeggio now you'll see the moog is going to lock into the lowest note which is going to be our bass a bass note and uh, you'll be able to play the arpeggios over the top of that. So check this out now. Cool. So that's um, just a really easy way to combine two instruments together inside a Bitwig. Cool. Now I'll show you one other way, uh, just very much the same setup here. Um, let's switch out the multi-poly for the COBOL. And uh, bring the COBOL in and we'll just send out MIDI to the COBOL expander. Now this guy's a bit of a pain to tune in, so one thing that's nice is that I can just 
uh, at this stage as well, just rather than retune the oscillators there, just transpose this down from here. Right, so these synths are now two completely different synths, but if you do have a bunch of mono synths like this, especially if, you know, some of the stuff like the Behringer things, um, if you have two of them, um, now they do make some that are, are diaphonic as well, like these sim as well, but if you've got similar sounding modules, you can actually set this up to, to play sort of almost diaphonically as well. Um, what we can do is convert this to an instrument selector mode uh, instead now. Uh, we've still got our layers in here, but we can now decide that we want to play either the messenger or the And uh, what we can do is click on this and then come over to this manual mode section here and click on round robin. So now every second note is going to go to a different synth. Uh, so we can play the messenger and we can play a second note, which is going to be the cobol. Cool thing with this is one thing that you can't do with the monophonic synth is play a chord. So if we hold down two notes now. Essentially playing two voices on different keys. And even with a different tonality, uh, it's actually quite interesting. Now, it's not 100% um, diaphonic in the sense that uh, if you hold down the one note, it's still going to send you back to the messenger. But I'm pretty sure that you could come up with a uh, script in a note uh, grid. In actual fact, it would be pretty easy. Um, you can manually select these. And if you just use a note grid to select either the highest note and have that uh, trigger the one and the other one to trigger the other one. It's, it's totally doable. You can definitely do that as well. So yeah, some really interesting stuff that you can do with kind of rooting things around um, and then layering them in these hardware instruments like this. Cool. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.